It's Monday, August 24th, 2015. I'm Andre Grant. Happy belated birthday to the Black Mamba, and this is DX Daily. 50 Cent broke down his beef with Sean Money XL, and of course, it all came down to the power of the dollar. Here's how 50 said it went down. When the money came, when the check came, M, M got them to write me the check. They gave me a million dollars, right? When the money came, Sean started going, like everybody else, they just started reaching in my pockets. Trying to get the money, as much money as they can get, right? So, they say, they charge the most and ever charged charge for a track before, for Bloodhound, on Get Rich or Die Trying. I said, cool, just give him the money. Gave it to him. It gets even better, as 50 implies that he did Sean Money XL a favor when he gave him a point on the album instead of just paying him for studio time. Here's what he had to say. He asked him for 50000 right? So I said, cool. Then I thought about it and I said, if I give him 50000 that's it. Because he's been paid for all the services. Everything. Right? So I said, no, I don't take 50000 Take 30000 and a point. The 30000 and the point on the sales of my record, the one point was worth $1.3 million. As we sold 13 million records on that first album. So I gave him 1.330 instead of 50. All's fair in rap and war, right? Click the link below to see the entire clip. Writing the fervor of the Straight Outta Compton film and his now final album, Compton, a soundtrack by Dr. Dre, all three of his albums ended up charting this past week. While Compton sales fell heavily seemingly in correlation with the D. Barnes Gawker piece and his subsequent apology, both The Chronic and The Chronic 2001 re-entered the charts. So do you think the stories of abuse cost dread? Let us know in the comment section. In an exclusive interview with intrepid DX contributor Sharice Johnson, ASAP Rocky spoke on what dope will do once it hits Netflix. Peek in. Yeah, I'm a, I wanna act. I think that movie was a good movie. I think it was a cool movie, man. I think I think it's one of those movies that uh, once it hits like Netflix and stuff, people are gonna really appreciate it and whatnot, you know? I think it's a, no matter how you see it, I think people should watch it. It's fun and it's funny. Motherfuckers don't know how to have fun no more, man. Everybody too so why so serious? Why so serious? Sometimes it's okay to have fun. I know gangsters who really like to have fun, man. You know, wrong with smiling every once in once in a while, every now and then. Gotta let some sunshine in your life. So you think it'll be a cult classic? That's it for today's most interesting hip hop headlines. Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.